Do you still find yourself struggling with your busy mind while you're trying to meditate? I know it is a very common struggle when we're beginning our meditation or even when we just have been meditating for a really long time and have a lot going on. So today we are going to talk about an incredible mudra that will allow you to maintain your concentration as well as um, help bring peace into lots of other moments in your life outside of meditation. It becomes this everyday meditation and it's called the Diamond Fist Mudra and it is a major component to Zen meditation. And they say with this mudra that your mind becomes as solid as a diamond, right? And diamonds are flawless and they, they do not break. They do not um, indestructible, much like the mind. And so we, we want to cultivate this concentration and this focus so that your focus becomes unbreakable, just like a diamond. And I use this mudra during my meditation and I also use it when I'm in the dentist chair or anytime I really want to concentrate and bring peace and harmony and focus into my life. This has been, I've settled into this mudra as kind of this coming home place for me. It is this, this settled place that offers respite and concentration and peace and safety. So and another reason why I love this particular meditation is especially when we are beginning our meditation, there's lots of really beautiful mudras that we can do, but the one of the most important components to a successful meditation is allowing this energy to flow from the earth through our spine and out the crown of our head and connecting us to this divine source. Well, often in, in meditation when we have mudras that maybe lean on our knees our backs go from here where we want this straight posture to here which is not doing anybody any good in their meditation practice and so this is yet another reason why i love this particular hand mudra i feel like it helps to maintain this uprightness, to allow that energy to flow from the earth through your spine and out the crown of your head. So what does the diamond fist mudra look like and how do we get our hands into that? Well, here's how this works. So we take our one palm and you stick your thumb out and you take your other palm and then you wrap that palm around both thumbs. You see how I tricky did that? I put both thumbs in there. And then I take this palm and wrap it around there. So it creates this diamond like shape. And then we place that in our lap, just like the very top of your pelvic bone. So what I like about this, as I explained earlier, is there's a little bit of this opposing force. I mean, we're certainly not pushing during meditation, but there is this resting stance here that kind of allows and encourages this straight spine. It really helps to keep that straight spine so you can allow that energy to flow from the earth through your spine and out the crown of your head, connecting you to your divine source. And quite honestly, I use this in every moment where I need focus and I need to feel a little bit more at peace and a little bit of safety. I have come to find this as a true resting place for me and my thoughts. So let's go ahead and give that a try in a quick meditation. So again, take your two palms, put your thumbs together, wrap that hand around those two thumbs, wrap your other hand around that hand, creating that diamond fist mudra, placing that in your lap. And keeping that straight spine and then you can go ahead and close your eyes bringing your attention down to your pelvic floor the base of your spine your perineum seeing that beautiful tree root grow out the base of your spine down into the center of the earth clicking in and pulling taut and we give mama earth so much gratitude. Thank you, Mama Earth, for the sun and the moon and the stars and our food and our water and our people and our animals, our birds, our bees. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So grateful. 
And then when we're ready, we can release whatever thoughts do not serve us, whatever might be cluttering our mind. We release that down through that root, down into the center of the earth. Thank you, Mama Earth, for transforming those thoughts into strength and preparation and readiness. So grateful, 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 grateful. And you can remain in this state for as long as you like. And when you're ready, you can draw that beautiful earth energy up that root, filling in your pelvic floor, the base of your spine, your perineum. You can remain here, nourishing that pelvic floor for as long as you like. And when you're ready, you can see that beautiful earth energy rise up your spine, out the crown of your head, up to your divine source. Just noticing maybe how this new hand mudra might be affecting your position maybe even noticing a straighter spine or if you haven't noticed a straighter spine maybe just allowing and welcoming in that straighter spine just breathing that in knowing that with this straighter spine you are going to encourage more flow of energy and a deeper meditation And so we're going to take three breaths and we're going to draw that energy up to our divine source and watch that flow down through the inner front part of our body on the exhale, connecting back with earth, creating three beautiful loops on that inhale, drawing that energy up that spine up to your divine source. And on that exhale, seeing that beautiful energy flow down the front of the body, down into the center of the earth, connecting back. On that next inhale, drawing that energy up the spine, up to your divine source, and then welcoming that energy to flow down through the inner front part of the body, down into the center of the earth. And one last time, drawing that energy up the spine, up to your divine source, and welcoming that to flow down the front of the body, down into the center of the earth. And you can remain in this cyclical breath cycle for as long as you like. But if you're ready to come back, maintaining that mudra and that straight spine, we see that root, we bring our attention back to your pelvic floor, seeing that root go all the way down into the center of the earth, clicking in and pulling taut, drawing that beautiful earth energy back up into your pelvic floor, the base of your spine, your perineum. I am safe. I am secure. I'm protected. I am provided for. Thank you. And then on two, you can begin to rub your palms together, letting go of that mudra. Three, massaging whatever might have fallen asleep. Four, taking a great big deep breath and stretch. And five, coming back awake, alert, and refreshed. Back to this moment now. I cannot encourage you enough to begin to incorporate this hand mudra, this diamond fist mudra into your meditation practice, into any parts of your day where you need focus or you feel scattered, it is such a powerful and helpful tool in creating a mind that is strong as a diamond. If you found this helpful, thank you so much for liking and subscribing and sharing with all your friends. I think we could all use this mudra to up-level our meditation and our lives. And of course, I want to hear in the comments down below how this helped you. How, how What did you notice? How did you notice your meditation shift and change, or how are you using this in your everyday life? I love your comments. I love hearing how this is helpful for you, and I can't wait to see you next week. Love yourself enough to heal. Heal yourself enough to thrive. Take care.